Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel to another episode and this time we will be looking at the technique Munedori, so the attack grab here on the chest, uh, Munedori, Ikkyo and we'll have a look at the version of Motewaza. So stay with us and let's have a look. Let's begin as usually with the footwork. Uh, so for the Munedori Ikkyo we'll begin very similar to the Katate Dori Ikkyo. Uh, we'll move to the side, change the Hanmi with Anatemi here. Slide a little bit back to, to get the balance of the Uke before we move in for the version of Mote Waza with a big step uh, in front of the Uke. And then once we get uh, Uke's balance, we'll advance another step and descend on the knees as the uke goes down. Let's have a look at the work with a partner. So I'll ask Sandra to assist me with this. And actually I put my microphone a bit higher because the attack is on the chest. So actually it's the other side. If I do here, it's the other side. Wait. So uh, it's a grab on the gi here in, on, on my chest. So it's the mune dori, the, the grab of the uh, gi on the on the height of the solar plexus, which might be just an entry a preparation for another attack like a strike or something like this, which would be probably quite common. And from here, so when I receive this attack, I want to move in a similar way to katate dori. So I will cut out with my hand, moving to the side with my leg, adjust the other leg, the front foot here, with an atemi, which is stretching the uke. From here, I can slide back or bring a little bit, sink a little bit my base with a movement slightly backwards to grab the wrist here, prepare for the elbow with the other hand. And as I enter, I will turn the arm up and the elbow up and enter here into a ikkyo. And once I get the, well, I finish the spiral movement of the ikkyo here, get close to my knee more or less, or even beyond my knee, and I get the balance of the uke, from here I can move forward a little bit towards the uke, so catching the center line of the uke. I don't want to move alone aside of the uke. I want to move with the uke, so I take him a little bit to the side and descending for the pin at the end. So this was the technique when we do it in kihon from a static attack. But actually, we can modify it a little bit when we do it from Kinonagare. And uh, when the attack is coming in Kinonagare, we can anticipate a little bit the grab and uh, treat it in a similar way to a Munetsuki attack and then do the technique in this way. Which means that if Sandra wants to come and grab me, here, okay, before she grabs, I can move back and then enter here. It's exactly the same as the Munetsuki. So there is, before the uke manages to, to grab the gi, there is no difference in the flow here between a ski, ski, <laughs> ski here, or having the grab, going for the grab. So the arm is moving in the same way, I can do exactly the same technique. Okay, so if you manage to be a bit ahead of the attack, you can, you can do the version with a, like from the ski attack. If you are late, if the grab is already there, you do the one like the kat, uh, katate dori. So thanks for watching, hope you liked it, and let's uh, see again each other in another video.